Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a knockout with windows. I have several more videos planned out for you guys, um, like bringing in the Devant, um, do several different things like bringing in an image um, to um, to bring in and turn into an SVG, things like that. So just stay tuned. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go to text first. I'm going to go ahead and go to impact. It's already on here. So you're going to go to impact and I'm going to type in our last name, which is Thomas. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing we normally would, like I said, with a Mac, you're gonna click on it and you're gonna go to letter spacing and I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit. All right, let's see, there we go, that looks good to me. So now I'm gonna bring this out so I can work with it. So now let's go do our next um, text, which I'm gonna come up here and I've already downloaded I Love Glitter, so I will show you all guys how to do that in my next video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get I Love Glitter. This is from Defont. Like I said, I'm having to look around my camera here. Okay, so I love glitter. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So you're gonna do open brackets, which is on your uh, keyboard here. And then I'm gonna type in our names here. Now I'm gonna go up to letter spacing right up here. And I'm going to bring it in as close as I can. Okay, so once you have that where you want it, okay, now with Windows, we're going to be a little bit different on this one, okay? So you're going to come up here to Style, so once you get it exactly how you want it, you're going to come up here to Style and you're going to change it to Bold because this is going to, this is a little bit different than the way that the Mac works. So you're gonna come up here, you're gonna change the style, and you're gonna come down and hit bold, which I have already done, so you notice it's a little bit thicker. We need it to be thicker because I'll explain that here in just a minute. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here where it is a cut file, and we're gonna change it to a print file, just like we did with the Mac. Change it to print, all right? So once it's changed to a print, so now what we're gonna do, so now that I've changed it to a print file, what I'm going to do is I'm, now I'm gonna size this to how I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over where I can start bringing down my size. Let me do this. All right, so now I'm gonna bring down my size just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this back in, it's just it was too big for me to work with. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back up with my plus down here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test fit this where I want it to make sure I want it and like I've done before you can always change the color of this so that way you can see it I just want to be able to make sure it's where I want it and that color is not going to work because I can't see let's change it to pink all right so now I'm going to test this just to make sure it's where I need it to be I'm just kind of playing with it because I'm gonna or it's going to still change itself when we go to change to uh, go to print this computer is super slow, guys, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start to adjust this just to make sure it's the size that I want it to be. Okay, now that I'm ready, I have it changed to print. Like I said, you're going to go to make it. Um, if you guys are wondering what this white paper here is for, it balances out my camera so it's not up, jumping up and down. So I'm going to hit make it, which is just right behind here. Okay, so I'm going to hit make it. All right, so now this is where the step comes in that you can't do on the Mac. So what we're going to do is, you see the font is right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Control, Print Screen. So on your laptop, you're gonna hit Control, and at the very top right, right next to Delete, on the left side, you're gonna see the PRT space CSC, which is Print Screen. So you hit Control, Print Screen. Then the next step you're gonna do after you've done that, come down here on your main computer. So you're out of design space here. This is on your desktop here. It's right next to this little window. So right here in the search bar, you're gonna put in paint. All right, so you're gonna come up to paint just like back in the day. So you're gonna to come to paint. All right, and see now it's wanting to jump, but as long as I put my hand in here, it'll stop that, hopefully. <laughs> All right, let me kind of hold it like this. All right, so then you're going to come up here. Now, you, you this has this is in um, 
in paint. Okay, so once you get this in paint, what we're going to do is I'm going to come up here to cropped. All right, so see that button cropped right there? You're going to hit cropped. And you notice this little like star has came up right here. So I'm just going to inside the box so I don't have to fuss with all this. I'm going to highlight. So I'm holding down my mouse and just using one finger to scroll across the mouse. I'm on a, I'm on a, um, a laptop, by the way. If not, you would do the same thing on like your mouse. You're just going to hold down your left button and then drag with your like your little roller on your mouse, if that makes sense. Okay, so you're going to select this. All right. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to hit cropped again. So I came back up here once I had it selected and I hit cropped. I'm going to come to the save button and hit save. And then I'm going to name it. Now you can have it go somewhere. So I can just click desktop. I save it to the desktop. I'm going to rename it knockout. You name it whatever you want to. Just so I can find it. And I'm going to name it knockout three because I've already done this a few times just so I can save it. And it saves as a PNG. So I'm going to hit save. All right. So now that is saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit cancel because we're not ready for all this. Just like if we were on the Mac. Okay, so you're going to come over here. Okay, you're going to come over here to upload. You're going to click it. Upload image. And then you're going to hit browse. And then I'm going to come to desktop right here where it says desktop. And then you're going to see knockout three. So the one we just saved is knockout three. I'm going to click open. All right, we're going to save it as a simple. We're going to hit continue. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. So we have this one, the little magic wand already selected. I'm going to click right here and it's going to take away everything we need. So now I'm going to hit continue. I'm going, now you see how it's turned into that hot mess that we need. This is still not as bad as what we kind of needed as. I'll show you, but it's going to work. So you're going to come click this one where this one's highlighted with that green, which is the, you know, save as a cut file. So I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'll be able to show you right here. All right. Now let's see if I, it'll let me zoom in. Okay, this is what it looks like if you save it. If you save it on a Mac, where did it go? I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Okay, if you save it on a Mac, this is what it looks like. So it looks way more just kind of filled in, or this wants to just fill it in a little bit. I mean, it's not really still anything crazy. So you can see that. Hold on, this computer is on my. So you can see how it fills it in here. It's still not doing it like what the Mac does, like that. So it's still not doing it like this. So I'm going to hit, let me zoom back out, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick that it still works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it here. I'm gonna insert image. All right, so now I'm gonna move this guy I want to move this. Oop. It's not one to grab. All right. I didn't want to move both of those. But anyways, let me try to move this Thomas back. There we go. This computer's lagging just a little bit. Okay. So this is what we just brought in. And I'm going to change it to white like we've done before. So I'm going to change that to white. And now on this one, I'm going to change it back from bold. All right, so I'm going to change the, the original font we're going to keep. I'm going to change it back to regular. There we go. So now this is our piece we're going to work with, and I'm going to start dragging it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one forward. So I'm going to come up here to arrange. So I've got it clicked on. I'm going to move it to the front. And now I'm going to set it right on top here. So this one requires a little bit more fussing than the Mac does, but it's all right. We can still get it done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start stretching it on top of the white. So you can see how I'm doing that just like that. So as I go along, then I'll come back. I'll click on the white one. And I'll play with it a little bit more. 
once you get them lined up, you'll be able to select them both at the same time. Now, if you can't get them to line up what you want, so let me bring this out just a little bit so I can play with this. Let me bring this up and over. I'm going to show you guys something. Let me do this. Let me bring that white back in. So like I said, it takes just a little bit of fussing around. All right. So once you kind of get it like this and you feel that it's just still not chunky enough, what I do is I hit the unlock button right here. And this is on the white one, the chunky part that we're going to knock out with. And I'll kind of just bring it down just a little bit, lock it back, just to kind of give us a little bit of wiggle room. All right, I need to bring that in just a little bit more. All right, say so I was happy with that. What I would do is at this point, I would select them both. I would come up here get it where I want it to be all right then I would grab the black one and I'd move it out of the way just like before all right I'm gonna select these two I'm gonna come down here and hit the slice button all right just like I did before I just grabbed the Thomas and move it you could take these pieces and delete all right, so then all you got to do is just get these pieces right here and then just get them where you want them to be. And you can always change this so that way you can see what you're doing. All right, so now what we can do is you can start test fitting just like that so you can see it. Now, hopefully you guys can see that good enough there. Now, what I can do to get this to fit even better to make it a little bit wider in these spaces, I can click this, and you want to do it just ever so slightly. I'm going to hit the unlock button, and I'm just going to pull this down just a little bit, and now I'm going to bring this up and set it right inside there. Now, what you make sure that you hit lock to lock this back once you move that around. And then you can set this in just like that. So if you feel like it still needs just a little bit of room or anything like that, that's all you have to do. So I hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more with my screen and see if you guys can't see that a little bit better to see what's going on. So there it is right inside. There it is removed. So like I said, it's just fussing with to make sure this is going to set down where it needs to set down. Um... And at the same time, you may ask and say, well, why do we need to bring that in if, you know, if this is already going to, um, if this is just basically the same size? Well, if you look at it, let me insert it again. Let me go back to images. I'm going to reinsert it. Oop. You can see that it is different. So you can see that it's going to knock the all these pieces out that needs to be knocked out. Let me show you, for example. So you see how it's got the holes here for the S and it kind of fills it in? That's what you need to do with a knockout. So the A, it's all flat, kind of like a silhouette of it, if, you, if that makes sense. So it is doing what it needs to do. So at the end of the day, it is being able to, to accomplish this with Windows. So I hope this wasn't too confusing. I really try to break this down for you guys. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.